I have the Fujino GF 23mm lens on this camera and it's a 23mm wide prime but the um, thing is that it kind of limits your photography so it is too wide for me for this shot I kind of took a quick test shot and nothing really spoke, piqued my interest in terms of as a picture but I think what I'm gonna do is Hmm. Let me try this. Kind of looks cool. Okay, I'm gonna keep the lens on and try a vertical picture with it. Sometimes it's a good idea to kind of just, with your camera, explore some potential compositions and then see which one you like better. So, just to kind of go over the composition I do. At first I thought maybe the wide angle is not interesting enough and wanted to switch to telephoto and kind of zoom in on some of the, these grasses with the water, kind of really minimal shots, which I might do a bit later after taking this picture. But just for now, I'm going to stick with this composition for the sunrise part of the day. And what I'm planning to do is, like I angled the camera a little bit down to kind of include some of these grasses in the foreground here at the bottom and it kind of frames up the, the reflection in the water and there's on the other end another strip of grasses and water so it looks really really nice as a composition and I'm eliminating the sky completely because it's too clear there's not even any clouds in the skies so yeah I think this is a good composition I might just stick with this one for for this shot and then I might put on my telephoto lens and try to get some more intimate shots. Just kind of those minimal shots that I like. But for now this looks really really good. Let's see how that looks. I'll take a test shot here. I am including all these grasses in the shoreline. And I do quite like how it frames up the water. And then you get this little water that kind of just, you get a little curve of the water and then you get some grasses on each end and it's quite interesting it leads to the background but I'm kind of cropping this shot just about here so you don't get any of that sky so it's definitely interesting as a composition from front to back the only thing I'm missing here is if I get some warm light on the grasses here and in the reflection I think that will add so much more interest but I have to wait for the sun to come up, to rise, and see what that happens. So I'm gonna stick with this composition with the 23 millimeter lens and see what I get. I think while waiting, I might just switch to my telephoto lens on this one, the 100 to 200 Fujinon GF lens, and try to zoom in on some intimate details and just photograph that while waiting for the light show to happen. And if it does happen, I'll switch back on really quick and try to get some shots with the same composition with the wide angle lens. Here we go. So I got that 100 to 200 lens on. Just gonna pop that on. And then see what I could find for pictures with this one. I do always like the telephoto lens because allows you to move in close all right just compose a quick shot here kind of zooming in on some of that shape in the water the way it kind of curves and got the water that center and got grasses on each hand and it's a bit of a long exposure at four seconds so it's quite interesting and see how that looks. 
as you can kind of see this is my subject in the distance is just zooming in on this part of this kind of the way the twist of the water and the grasses on each end I think that's really interesting and also when I look on the back of the screen you can kind of see my composition here so that's the picture that I took as you can see if I just zoom in here I like the way the long exposure kind of blurs out really blurs out the water and I like the framing of the grasses on each end and I think this is what I meant to say when I I like how the Fuji processes the colors of what I see it looks really really nice has really nice quality and I think this picture I would just kind of crop it up here and just kind of go for like this I want to eliminate this distraction or the tree I don't think it adds anything so if I just crop it like so I think that becomes much more interesting as a shot maybe go lower and just kind of focus on my subject maybe go for a score crop There's definitely a lot to work with here but even as is I don't hate it you know I just find that without it it'd be really interesting and I'm already set shot up my maximum to 100 millimeter. So if I could zoom in closer, I would, you know, but I still think this composition looks really, really nice. Whew. It's crazy. It's been like about, you know, 35 minutes well past sunrise and yet the sun still hasn't made an appearance. don't think it's gonna be any better here in terms of light and I already got some pictures so I think it'd be good to explore a bit more see if I can find some more interesting compositions to photograph